Sunday video. Aren't you excited? I'm not. <clears throat> but we're here again with a, another video. We're taking a break from Sleeping Dogs, even though it did pretty well. So I'll probably do that one uh, next week. But today we are heading back into StarCraft and observing some 1v1 action so I can get better at the game. Because I'm crap at the game. So it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be nice to have you know it's gonna be nice to have uh, pro players or players who at least know what they're doing on a, on a regular basis it would help very very interesting game and I wonder how it's gonna turn out so we have place bets I'm gonna place it on no one because I feel this will be a good game to watch and we will not need to place bets. However, we have a Terran, so that's Yellow Snow. That's a pretty funny name, not gonna lie. I like that. So we're gonna try and uh, order EPM, and APM stuff is gonna be here. But I more, I mostly prefer, I think we have the other options. Do we not have it here? Not the game menu, but the other one. The production. We have the resources, we're gonna need that. There we are. That's all I was looking for. Production. So it is. It's gonna be. It's. I. This map is a very. It's a very long map. It's a very long map, and I feel a map like this that that's long. Zerg should have the advantage in, if they go. If he's gonna go air. It's a, it's a. But right now, not even building actually a, um, a spawning pool. Went straight for the hatchery, but not a second spawning pool yet. Terran now built his box a little early, which is it's normal. Versus Zerg, you don't know if he's gonna try and rush you or not. It's very possible. So he is doing the standard Terran block the wall build. Now the spawning pool goes down and one gas only. So both opening rather normal. Like there's nothing really abnormal about about these builds so far. And we're gonna see what's gonna be happening here. Can I get rid of the chat? Is that I can do. Can I just like block all communication? No. Is there a way? Is there a way to do that? Sound maybe? Gameplay? Observer and replay? No? Well you guys suck. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to see them at the bottom talking. Anyway, so okay, so then Terran didn't didn't actually go for the Reaper, which is quite surprising because I don't think he has um, view of uh, of our friend over here. Yeah, he has no clue what he's doing. So interesting that he did not go for the Reaper just yet, but that's okay. I guess we'll see what happens. Is there like Alt Alt Zero? I guess that's a little no. Okay. He has very historic command center. He's getting Zergly Speed on the way now. Has his regular lings out. Zergly Speed on the way. We don't see any tech though. We, he still is on the one gas. So this might be a, a quick third. Seems to be a drone going over there now. He just has the minerals for it. So really no harassing. Just um, straight building. Three marines. Nothing on the Barox. Now I'm getting a second Barox now. Two of them actually. So that, that could be... That could be reactor oh tech lab going down so this is definitely the really classic Terran build of just of just bio units really just complete bio units now the third hatchery is going down uh not even teching up to lair just yet he does have the gas for it though so i kind of wonder why he isn't doing so but I guess we shall see in a little bit. Has the Marine over here patrolling in case of any drops does, does come in. Does not want to show this four, four Barak's aggressive tech. I don't think he realizes. I don't think Zerg knows what's about to hit him. Yeah, he has no clue <clears throat> what's happening. And uh, that's going to be a problem for him. The Zerglings are coming in now. They're going to be breaking down this unbuildable bricks. Uh, he will see this. I'm not sure he will, he's not going to be able to get the ramp at all. So they have to pull back, has no choice. But uh, he does not see this double re uh, reactor going down now. Now the factory is also be following up with this. Uh, he's getting his evil chambers now. Lair is on the way on the sec on the uh, natural. But there is no Roach Warren. Just really Zerglings right now. So 
I don't see what he's planning to do against this many Marines. There's going to be a lot and a lot of Marines coming very shortly for Robo... Ro robotic. Robotic, yeah. Spelt really weird. And if he doesn't know, right now we have a lot of people are betting on, on the Zerg player, which is surprising considering that he doesn't have much. He's getting another tech lab that's three reactors going and two tech lab. That's a lot and a lot of bio. Very, very quick. And he's only on two bases. The Sorwan hasn't really lifted off yet. The Overlord has not really been in the double. Uh, no upgrades gone down just yet. Stim and Stim's about to finish and Comet Shield is on the way. <clears throat> he is now getting the bailing nest though, so maybe the bailings, if the splits aren't good for the Terran player, he might be able to pull something off, or he might be going for a bailing buzz. It's very possible. He's gonna check out the ramp again. Again, a lot of Marines. I'm not sure if he's realized how many Marines is up this ramp just yet. There is a lot of Marines right now. That's all he can see is that front wall has no clue what is behind him. But then again, Yellow Snow has no vision. Already has. He did get in so he did see the Baneling Nest, which is good. That's going to definitely help him in that field. Because I don't think... Uh, I, I think he's definitely needing all that information for sure. But still, no real sworn. Um, Lair is done. Nothing from it yet. Is getting both the melee attack and the uh, card. And now the Zerglings are checking everywhere. For a service or something, this is definitely a two piece all in. Medivac are now popping out of the field right now. It's gonna be a very, very quick game if the Zerg player does not get on his feet right now and figure out what's about to happen. A two factor he's going down. If, however, Zerg is able to hold on to this, he's gonna be in an amazing position considering that he's already on three bases, he has the layer down, <clears throat> is getting another hatchery in his main base. He's gonna be popping out a lot of units very shortly, is getting the bailing upgrade to, to go along with it. And is getting a lot of, um, a lot of, he's definitely going to go for a lot of bailing bust. It's just a matter of, hey, the, the medivacs are ready though. They had the marines. There goes one medivac going this way. Let's see where this one's going to be leading to. I, he, if he does not spot, they'll be very surprised. He has Zergits all over the field. Let's see if he does see it. Did he, did he see it? Did he, he's, he's got to see it. Yeah, he, he saw it. If he has not seen it, I'll be very surprised. The medivac um, going around the side. There is a sport crawler right there waiting for him once it arrives. This overlord should also probably see it. If he's if if he's not seeing it, he's definitely looking somewhere else. Infest infestation bit going down. Twelve zerglings. Here he goes now. The medivax will be dropping in very shortly. There is no zerglings right now in the base. The marines will drop in and start killing off some of these um, uh, drones. Zerglings now popping into the plane now. Not many. These will die very quickly. To they already. Here got a lot more Zerglings that are going to try and get a good swarm around them, and they will get it. Oh, and they do pick off the Medivac, so those Marines are stuck there. How many how many drones were that? That was about, uh, that was a good couple of drones. Uh, I'm not going to lie, he's now down to, he's up to 60. If we can get a units lost tab, is that possible? He's, yeah, killed off four of those workers. <clears throat> right there. Not many, but every little bit health. He did lose the medevac though, so he's definitely, uh, in money-wise, if you look at how much money everyone has lost so far, uh, Terran has lost more. That medevac is definitely very costly. Marines trying to get a drop over here, trying to cancel this base, but look just how many Zerglings the Zerg player has. He he did defend this very well with so many Zerglings. Um, Terran just does not have <clears throat> enough forces yet to get it. He will be getting it soon, though. He is getting... Just a lot of units. Uh, a lot of units uh, over here so far. But now he's just getting his third. Zerg is now on his fourth. He's uh, ahead of him. There's three queens in here. You might be going for a push for his If he doesn't go for a, uh, a push soon, he might let Terran get back into this game, considering that he does have the Cease Tanks guarding the high ground. He needs to get some Bailings in there, morph him in, and run into those. It's just Marines. There is this one little mine behind this tank and a couple of little mines out here that might surprise the Zerg player if he's not careful. These Zerglings only having the 1-1 one, one upgrade. Terran is at the 1-1-2. One, one, Back to the uh, production. We do have Swarm Holes on the way. A unit you don't really see often and Barrel going down. Uh, the 2-2 two, two upgrades are going for Terran. Zerg will have them before. This is this window. This window of opportunity a lot of pro players that I've watched or seen on YouTube is this little moment where the Zerg has a higher upgrade than the Terrans 
and he would it would be a prime moment for him to attack but he's not he is getting the infestors hive is on the way so there is a it's, it's a ticking time bomb for Terran. If the Ultralis do get out, I do not see Terran coming from this game. The village are now being more to swarm hole. So many of them. Oh my god. And the amount of investors. He has a crazy amount of money to Zerg player. He has 1500. He can easily, easily reproduce anything he needs. Only having gas on uh, almost every base so far. He's not on four bases. His speed spread is very, very good. Uh, now the swarm holes are moving out to the side. I don't think Terran knows about these swarm holes just yet. They are coming from an angle. Terran going the other way. These will completely miss each other. There are some of them back at home though, which will probably keep the Zerg unoccupied. The Terran now going up the right. This is probably going to turn into a very big base phase in a couple of minutes right now. He should see this this um, very very big Terran army. He is pulling back though. Is playing back to see if he can try it and fist this. The investors are on the side where they catch the back of this. The sea tanks are morphing in, but they're coming from behind. The Zerg is getting to surround the T tank. One 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 goes down, and another sea tank does go down. We'll follow with the uh, the oh the, two fungals go down. The uh, investors trying to get as many fungals as they probably get the billions for an ink killing all, all the Terran. They do get the fourth base, but at what cost? So many units have gone now. Only the swarm holes remain, though. Not many zergs on the field. 20 zergs being made. The swarm holes now in the corner. Cannot really reproduce. The infestors are on the run right now, trying to get away from these Terran stim. There are a lot more Terran over here on the fourth base. This fourth base is now cancelled. The infestors have been spotted. Burrow is not ready. There you go. Burrow's now done. But he scans. We'll see him. And the locusts will get this round finally, but not losing after a good couple of those swarm hosts. And man, Terran in a good spot right now. A lot of Marines still on the field. Not a lot of money in the bank, but just really good pressure right now. He has kept the Zerg only on three bases. On three bases himself. You, if that's always a good situation, if you ever catch um, a Zerg player on the same, same basis as you. The way the Iron Pits and the Marines do stim in. Killing off a good bit of the... Um, <clears throat> Of the overlords, the marines are trying to run away. Will not catch it, but the widowmines do get a couple of hits right there. Trying to get us around on the on the marines, they will get it, but uh, they will get taken away. Some of them do not make it. Wow! And the widowmines are still there. I'm not sure if he's realized these widowmines are uh, still on the location. Of uh, this. they don't, they will be going off again very shortly. I think he knows about the widowmines. And um, these will be ready very shortly. Ooh, I'm scared for it. We do have Burrow, though. See, Mrs. can now move underground without being seen. The one of are not moving around a little bit, trying to see if can better surround. And is there a blade? Oh, without a couple. Seize Tank is coming in for some strange reason. That Seize Tank is definitely lost. Very, very lost Seize Tank. And uh, now he's baiting the Infestor shots with um, Infested Marines. And this mar Infested Marine, not... Um, not attacking him just yet. There you go. Finally decides to go for it. And another one. Oh, and another. Good. These widow mines are really in good spots right now. Just keeping the Zerg on his toes. Now, the Zerg does get his four base now. He does have it on the gold one. Uh, he does see these Medivets coming in. So, no surprise for the Medivets. He's going to try and go around again and go back to the back of the base. There's a lot of Marines in here. And some of these Medivets are pretty low on health, but I believe he's going to miss it. He's going to go straight for this base. If he's lucky, you actually might get two of them. The Ultra is now coming out now. This Ultra not even close to popping. This one not only halfway there. And they will probably get a good bit of damage here. Kill out that Spore Claw. Kill out the Infestor Pit. No more Infestor Pit for a little bit. Uh, they will take off that base. The Swarm um, now coming in to clean this up. Will they even get a chance to clean it? The Queen's coming in to try and help out. And they will pull back. But they probably will land again. And try to get more of these drones right now. The swarm holes are gonna expire. They won't get there in time. The infested marines, the ultra is not doing much back here, buddy. You gotta go help. And finally is able to clean up this force. Does he have the upgrade for the no, he's not the upgrade for the ultras? Ultra ultra right now is still pretty weak. Doesn't have that care for his upgrade. Now it's coming into the play. 79 seconds. Terran has to move now or it's over. He does not have a good chance right now, even himself saying what am I doing? Considering that the ultras are already out, he doesn't have much of a shot right now. He really gonna have to make these splits really well or start to get some liberators or something to try and handle this very, very heavy ultralist force now. A lot of Zerglings in the mix too. The Infestors hiding un underneath. Terran trying to pick off whatever they can with his last medivac trying to run around and the Queens are already in position to save the day.
As they come in here, transfusing each other, trying to keep each other alive right now. These Marines was 2-2, two, two, are hard to kill. Did kill off one Queen, but the Locusts will come in and clean that up. Terran not looking good. Still on only three bases. The first base saturated in the Marines. SVs are not doing anything. The second base very close to saturated. The third one oversaturated actually. Now sending his fourth command to throw over there. He needs to get this base just to even hold it. Just just to hold the game in a, pl in a, in a place. And this base has to be careful. Pretty low. 700 health. I'm nothing in these medevacs. I'm nothing to worry there. But the Zerg forces moving out now. And there is a couple of Widow Mines here to help tear in a lot of sea state to Marines. But isn't enough to handle this very, very heavy Zorn. But the Loka will be flying in from above. And care the infrastructure right now. Getting rid of the factories. Making Terran split his way to either abandon ship, ship or go all the way in. So thank God Swarmers can only do so odd that's a 25 second cooldown. So they will they always pick off the starport. It is gonna catch on fire. Unless they repair it, the SCVs have to repair that a lot of what mines up front. They need to repair this starport, else it will go down 240. All they can see is the Terran trying to go in. Does get hit by one of the ultralists in the wrong location, buddy. But look how strong he is. So much armor on that ultralist. Look at that, still not even going down. These Marines are doing nothing to the Ultras. He nearly needs to get some liberties in there. He's running into the... the oh, a Swarm does get some of them. And a nice fungal on that one. And Terran has to retreat again. Almost leaving the starport. He did finally repair that before he lost the liberty. He's not coming out. It's going to be the saving grace for him. He needs to get a fight on his turn. The Locust now trying to figure out what's around here. He will spot this base sooner or later. He's going to have to protect that base. He's going to have no other choice. And then when he does probably realize that it's there, it's over. Yeah, he's running to that position now. Probably realizes that there's a base over there. Very, has, has he seen it? No, he's not seen it yet. But he might see it later. Trying to catch these uh, Marines that are in a very lost, lost situation. The Zergans will get surrounded with some of them. Trying to chase them down. Marines trying to clean up as much creep as they can. Actually, a good distraction right now. As Marines are going to cause a nice distraction. Armies in that position. But most of the armies are going the other way. He's going to try to make it to the base trade. He does see the base. The base does lift off. And the SDB's trying to run away as quickly as they can. Through Ultralis on the way. Liberate on the way. A lot of Marines on the way too. Trying to hold on. And here you go. It is now a full-on base trade. The Marine, the Widow Mines are in position. The Liberty is not sieging up just yet. Now here they go. The Seas Tag is ready to kill off this one gold base. That's actually um, one of Zerg's only mining bases left besides his natural. There's not a lot of minerals left. But Zerg is completely overriding Terran. It's going to be a complete base trade. But to what extent? Considering how much money Zerg has to make, he can easily rebuild all the infested Terran come out. His Lyra is going to have no chance in saving this base. It does get taken down. Two Lyra is on the way. But the Zerg have entered the base. And the Ultras are actually backing up. Trying to go see if they can take care of this Terran force. If he's able to take care of this force, the game is all over. Actually, no pulling, uh, pulling back. Uh, yes, he is. Stormhole still there. The Ultras are in position. And all the buildings are getting lifted off and being fled out of here. Nothing is left for the Terran. Trying to fly away. There is no areas on the field, though, for Zerg. So if he... He could just, you know, fly away and uh, do whatever he can. But there is no island bases on this map, meaning he's going to have to land sometime soon. How many observers are on the map for uh, this person? Can we look at that? Can we see units? Is there any? There are no. There's two observers on the map. Both of them are over here against these... Um, Against these wonderful flying boxes, one about to fall. And now the Zerg is coming back to defend its home. This is going to be the fight. Zerg is old, but Terran does see some in time to see, so they're going to have a major help. The Liberators are going to try and get out and hold around as best they can. The Ultra was moving in, but they're dying quickly to the Liberators. This is the perfect position. The Widow Mines going out, and these Ultra are not making it through. Finally, get through. Telling out the sea stand. They're just so strong, so much armor on them. And I think. Marines have finally been taken out in yellow snow. Not much of a chance left with only two sea stands, a couple of liberators left. The infestor is still on the field and they have cleaned up house. Nothing really left for the Terran player. He just has a base here, one floating over here, and a couple of SCVs, but he does not have much left really. Uh, one overseer, a couple of ultralists, and really all, all of his infestors are still under the ground. One base over here for the Zerg player, trying to get some mining back in here. 
He does have three boxes that he lands abnormally close to the um, the Zerg player. He will spot this, which is Overseer. Does see it. And now we'll probably send the Ultra Fleet back to its base. There is some bars that's being reproduced with only 2,500 minerals. The Ultra is, where are they going? Where are you going, Ultra is the, the, the boxes are back at the main base. Those are distractions. Well, it looks like he will take the bait with these three Ultras. Only one um, hatchery remains, which is the main one, the hide. With three Ultra was coming out of there. No, um, nothing units coming out of there right now. Another hatchery being put down over there. But I don't think he realizes the mule placement on this side. Terry might be able to pull through. Finally, they show up. These Barsons will not be trying to make any units. Here comes the Infested now. The tech logs go down, but it is too late for that. The Infested Terrans come out, and GG goes to the Zerg. And Robotic wins this game with an amazing, really simple Zerg play. And a good game, all in all. If you guys enjoyed this video, let us know. And this next one, we will cast next time or just we'll cast another game some other time see you then